Quest on 47. Peter describes Christians as a chosen race because they A. Declare God's wonderful deeds. B. Have, have all been anointed. C. Have become born again. D. Will be honored in heaven. The right option is option A. Declare God's wonderful deeds. 48. Peter admonished Christians not to use their freedom as A. License to, to disrespect authority. B. Pretext for evil. C. Reason for discrimination. D. Liberty to live carelessly. The right option is option B. Pretext for evil. 49. Peter said that the successor of Judas must have, must have been with Jesus from the baptism of John to the A. Crucifixion. B. Resurrection. C. Attention. D. Last Supper. The right option is option C. Attention. 50. According to Peter, Christians should emulate Christ because A. He suffered for our sins on the cross. B. Was crucified unjustly. C. Redeemed, redeemed Christians by his blood. D. Provided all our needs. The right option is option A. Suffered for our sins on the cross. So that, that question 50 brings us to the end of the objective question. But there are some other things I would like you to know before you want to answer questions. Please, I want you to understand that for you to be able to answer any question right the first step towards answering that question is for you to understand the question if you don't understand the question you may not be able to provide the right answer to that particular question some of you wrote things that were fine nice but they were wrong answers to the questions you were asked and then some of you, you don't know how to number your questions appropriately. So learn to number your questions well. Like if you want to use this is your answer sheet. You have something like this. Then we have the margin. We have something here. So we we'll ask you not to write on the match. Then there's another match here. You are not right here. You do not. Right. On the match. So you are not right here. You are not right here. But what I discovered is that some of you will start writing from here. Instead of start, starting from here to answer your question, you will not start from here. I'll be right from one end of the answer sheet to the other end, which is wrong. When you write your wires, I will speed one to match your street. So you cannot even come to me to complain. Like you always do here. Yeah? Then we'll start looking at it. Then maybe I'll just overlook something. The examiner that will mark your your questions, you, you won't know the person, you won't see the person. You don't even know the state, where your street to be taken to. So that is why you have to always do the right thing. Some of you, you have question one here. Yeah. You want to answer question two. Instead of writing two A, you already have a space where you put the number of the question you want to answer. For instance, you want to answer to me. You are supposed to just put two A here and begin to write all you want to write on that. Then when you are through with two A, you want to answer to me. Put two B here and continue writing. And write and write until you finish. If you see how space, I want to answer question A. Then you can put eight A here and begin to write. But what some of you do is that when you want to answer question. You already had it in mind to answer question 2 and question 8. So you now come here and write. You now do something like this 2A and B and 
A and B. Please, this is wrong. This is wrong. Don't do anything like this. You want to answer the question. Put your number your questions well so that the examiner that is marking your script will not have problem marking your script and it will make his or her work easier. If you create problems for the examiner, the examiner can just throw your script aside and begin to mark others because it's not only your script that the examiner wants to mark. So make the work of the examiner easier because you will not be there to complain. If it's not me today's ticket, I will mark your script for your script. I will not be there. I will not even know where they will take the script. You will not also know. So do all the right things you have to do. Then make sure you write legibly. Let your handwriting be clear. Some of you, even with my glasses, I still find it difficult to read your writing. If you have written all the right things you need to write, and the examiner is not able to read your handwriting, you, you just scribble towards the examiner. You are already failing. So please, write clearly. Write clearly. Get your words. Don't write words. Some of you, some of you, when you want to write, I am going to the market. So instead of writing like this, you would write like this. Please, this is wrong. Try as much as possible to write like this. I know that my hand writes is not the best word, but at least you can read it. Take your word and write what you want to write and write correctly. If you keep writing like this, you are not helping yourself because the person that will mark your script will not have the pleasure to be reading what you have written. So help yourself so that God can help you. So next lesson, when we come, we will be looking at the theory questions. Today we look at the objective questions and the right options. I hope you have been able, been able to get something today. Next lesson, when we come, we will be looking at the theory questions, starting from question one, so that you will know the right answer to all these questions or know what the examiner expects from you. So that you don't go writing the wrong things like some of you did in the mock examination. Thank you. I mean.